Hi family, I hope that you are well. My name is Shiren. So God today is saying that he is still going to be revealing himself to you. It's not an empty promise. He is going to reveal himself to you. So I remember yesterday, I had promised my child since last week that I was going to be taking her to go to the hair salon on Monday. I would come fetch her early from daycare to take her to the hair salon. And then now, when I tried reaching out to the salon where she normally goes to, they did not respond to me. And then I thought to myself, so do I let it be? Does it mean that I've made an empty promise to her? Or do I try out other places and then i gave a different place a try because i just did not want to be disappointing her i did not want her to see me as a liar and god is saying the same thing today he says that he's still going to be revealing himself to you because he is not a man that he should lie that is why when you read in the book of numbers chapter 23 verse 19 the bible says God is not a man that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Hallelujah. So God is still saying that he is not a man that he should lie. Yes, you might be looking at your life and you feel like you've been waiting on the promises of God. You've been waiting on God to fulfill his promises. You've had so many prophetic declarations about your life and you've been waiting and now you are even at the point of losing hope but God is saying that if me as a human being I did not even want to be disappointing my child what more about him because you are his child he does not want to disappoint you he does not want you to lose trust in him he does not want to see you losing the faith losing the hope in him that's why the bible even says that when a child asks for a fish will a parent give them a snake will the father give them a snake no so even though us as humans know how to give good gifts to our children what more about the heavenly father so god is still saying in your life today he is still going to act he's not like people who change their minds people can promise you this thing today and then hours later you find that now they are no longer picking up their calls now they are no longer talking to you now you can't reach them now they are coming up with excuses but God is still saying that he's going to fulfill every single promise over your life he is still going to do it he is the author of time and you might be looking at the time and you feel like no now it's already too late now we are already in the 11th month but God is saying that at the right time at the appointed time he's still still going to be doing it he is not done yes the calendar might seem like it's moving so fast while your situation is still still while there hasn't been movement in your life while there hasn't been progress in your life but God is saying that continue trusting in him continue trusting in him in the moment of silence in this moment of disappointment he wants to reveal himself to you he wants to begin speaking to you he wants to begin giving you directions in your life giving you instructions in your life and he won't only just be giving you instructions in your life there's also certain individuals that he's going to be instructing instructing concerning your life he's going to be giving them instructions about you and they are going to be coming into your life now and doing the things that God has commanded them to do over your life expect people to come and bless you expect to be called in because God is going to be instructing certain people expect to be chosen in the mighty name of Jesus God is not done with you God is still taking care of you God is not going to be disappointed you because you are his child he loves you so much in the mighty name of jesus amen